Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are in the midst of doing the biter production challenge. Yes, we are going to outproduce the biters, um, if it kills us, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, and it might, uh, but we'll be okay. We have already started building a massive wall along the bottom edge here that is fed from ammo uh, that is being made continually. It looks like we have pollution hitting quite a lot of biter nests. So that's going to be one of my first priorities is to get that sorted. But one of the things is we don't have ammo all the way around. So I'm going to get that first. Um, we have, yeah, we have biters coming along all the way down. So it's going to be... Yes, challenging to get the whole thing sorted, but I think we can do it. It's going to be a good thing once we get it done. So we'll protect the factory. And I keep saying it's going to be because, well, I'm just, yeah, there are many things that I'm thinking about at once here. Uh, let's see, get that rid of the rock. Um, we might follow this line down there. I think we should do that. I think that could be good. Yeah, let's just use this wall here and go all the way up to the water. Oh wow, stuff. Biters. Oh geez. So many biters. Okay, so this is an area that we definitely need more turrets in. The only thing that I really miss for in early game here, or one of the things that I miss, wow, that's really fast somehow, um, is the whole, um, what do you call it? The oh, automatic repair of robots. That's kind of fun to have kind of useful to have, really useful to have. So that's something that I wish was better in early game, because otherwise you just kind of have to go and repair it all yourself. Um, and of course the idea is that you would definitely want to get um, you know, robots as soon as possible, and also kill off the nest so you get fewer attacks. Uh, that's pretty much the... Uh, the best way of going about things so you have less attacks overall and you waste less ammo overall. I'm very happy that we have plentiful resources um, so that we will not run out of uh, iron uh, before we get to critical stages of the game where we have better defenses and stuff like that. There we go. And let me just place down this thing and grab it like there, there, okay, and just for placement purposes, and then later we can worry about the, um, the actual placing down of inserters and turrets and things like this. We might run out of belts though, which is legit, a legit concern at the moment. Ah, darn it. Okay, it's fine though. And... We could just do this too. We could just drag the power poles and then place a turret within each power pole. That actually might be a good idea. Really? There's a biter eating the lake? Seriously, game. You gotta come up with a better excuse than that. Okay. Oh, they're eating the wall. Okay, that's fine. It is fine. It'll be okay. Okay, so. Biters ate the wall. Let's go and get the repair pack to fix this. They do kind of know which way to come in, though. Let me check at the bottom here. Do we actually have ammo flowing? Yes, we do. Ammo is flowing. That's great. Um, since we had a biter attack up here, I do want to add turrets up here. Just to make sure that we get the whole thing going. There we go. And, oh, I need power poles. Emergently. Yeah. This one here. Go, go, and go. Alright, great. Um, I think I need to, like, really just chop trees which is a very sad thing. This is a, the ironic thing, is I, I generated this world specifically to not have a lot of trees because I really dislike chopping trees. But it has so few that I, I haven't actually chopped that many. So we're kind of still, you know, I guess I should get steel. 
Um, but soon, soon. It'll be fine. Soon, soon, soon. Okay, here we go. And I want to get this ammo belt taken down to the other area. Wait, which one? Okay, it's going this way, so we can do this. Ghost placing this with shift click because I just wanted to see the line there of how far the uh, the water extended. There we go. Ah, oh, ran out of belts. Alas. Let's go ahead and make some more. And hopefully get some from the box too. That's one thing I definitely need to do is um, uh, get the belts automatically ba made from the bus, which we sort of started a little bit. 468 transport belts. Good, good. Uh, but I don't have any extra iron to feed at this time. It's going to be a little bit iffy, but it should be okay. All right, let's see if I managed to place any turrets up here. I think I did some, but not all of them, and they don't have inserters. So we need to make sure that that is not going to be an issue. Wow. Oh my goodness. The, uh, the suffering is real of the poor turrets here. But this needs to be just like solid line of turrets because it's just too, too much. Um, too, too many biters, too much damage. It is not a fun time for these poor, poor things. There we go. And in areas like this, we might even consider doubling the walls like this. And you can do that if you have issues with biters. Just double up the walls, triple the walls, whatever you need to do so that they don't get in. And then every now and again, go for around around your factory and just repair everything up. Okay, there we are. Repair pack, there we go. Looks like I need another power pole here. Oh, I forgot to make power poles out of all the wood. There we go. Oh. Let's just make all of them. All the power poles. There we go. Okay. Now we're we're talking here. We're getting stuff done. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, the biters won't know what hit them. Yes. Okay, so now this wall probably needs to go... I don't know if we should go up. We could go up. Um, or we probably just need to cut off this here and maybe maybe we should just go straight across and then cut off this area as well. Or we could just go straight to this corner and that would also protect us from the biter attacks. But look at this. We have already quite a significant portion of our base organized Um for biter protection. Yay. I know we're not making much progress on the factory, which kind of saddens me, but we do need to protect the base. That is important. Kind of critical number one thing. All right, so let's get this side covered with turrets. Okay, there we go. And I think I'm just going to add basically one turret every power pole here. Ooh, looks like I need more inserters. Oh no, I have no inserters. The sadness is real. Okay, well, I'm not going to waste the trip. I'm just going to take the, um, just kind of plop them as we go. And it doesn't matter if they're exactly aligned. I'm doing my best, but I don't have the nanobots to make everything perfect and lovely and nice and early bots that would make everything even better and lovely and nice. Yes. Okay. Let's go down here. I'm going to pick up some of the circuits, pick up some more turrets, pick up some more ammo. All the, wow, 741 ammo. Life is better. Oh, yes. Um, let's make these inserters. And then I want to set up signs and then we'll do the bottom wall, I think. Because we can do this. We can It'll be fine. We're going to get the biters. We're going to beat the biters at this production challenge. 
Look at how much ammo we have. It's just rolling along the line. A lot of times people have um, sort of circular ammo tracks. I'm not sure if I should do that or have um, some other way of redistribution. Not quite sure, but we'll we'll get to it, I guess, when we get to it. These guys, I'm wondering if I should just keep the turrets in place where they are so that in case the biters breach the wall, they will get killed by these internal turrets. That seems like an okay thing. And in that vein, I probably can finish up my, um, my uh, smelting array here with all the bricks that was killed a while back. There we go. Nice. And we'll go ahead and get these guys going because we are consuming walls, clearly. So something that we need to be aware of. Okay, looks like this does not have an outlet, possibly. It's hard to tell. Okay, and wow, there's all kinds of stuff on the on the floor here. Like bits of stone and and the coal. I should uh, put some coal in here. Ah, the stone in here as well. Yay. Home for the stone. I I like getting rid of stuff in my inventory if possible. All right, here we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. So why is this not working? Okay. All right, that's better. And we'll grab up some stone bricks so we can make more pathways. I might think about repairing some of this. Let's see. Just so we have less little green health bars and stuff. There we go. There we are. Now we're all fixed and happy and lovely and nice. Yay. And more walls. Let's get more walls. Yep, we're in war mode now. We are getting stuff done. And yes, I did notice some of the damaged items, but I'm, I don't want to walk around repairing everything. I don't think that that's that important, uh, to be honest. They don't function better if uh, they're uh, or if they're fully repaired or if they're undamaged. I should specify. Okay, now then, I want to make uh, the green science and set up the labs. So to make green science, we need um, transport belts and inserters. So we're going to make both of those with different arrays here. So we're going to go probably this. No, nope. one more down. There we go. And then we can make green science after that. Three, four, five, and oh, I need one more. Come on. There we go. And then I need red inserters for this. One, two, well, that's ten. Okay, great. I need more iron. Now these guys are going to be gear makers. Gears here for... Uh, inserters and gears. These are going to be gears here. Or should I do it the other way around? I think I usually do it this way. Well, I do it a variety of ways, actually. So these need one gear every half second and these need one gear every half second. Okay, so it doesn't actually matter which way it goes. I could save a little space, perhaps, this way. Uh, and we'll, we can just have an extra space there by the, the greens. Or we could move them all over, which I'm not that keen to do. Um, but here we're going to have our belt for redistribution here. Now keep in mind, this is very much a temporary science array. This is because we're being pursued by biters. Um, in a normal game, I would not build all of this stuff like this uh though i guess it's supposed it's it's kind of like a starter base in a way so perhaps i would build it similarly um okay so we're gonna have this one go that way this one can go this way 
And what we're going to do is, um, so in this area here, we have a situation where these are going to be bo put both on the same side of the belt, on the far side. These two machines are going to put inserters and belts on the far side, but we don't want it to be that way. We want to have one on one side and one on the other. So what we're going to do is sneak this belt around and onto the near side. And that's an easy way of just having this go on one side and the other go on the other side. Okay. Um, we need to get this there. No, we don't. We need to do this differently. We need to have this going that way. I think I could do a this thing, can't I? Yes. Yes, I can, I think. Um, yes, there we are. We'll have this go here, that go there, and gears going that way. That's fine. I don't know if I need fast inserters uh, for this. I'll have to see. Do I need more plates? Nope. Okay, and here we go. I could, though, oh, we do need an output of fast for belts. Okay, so here we go. We're making stuff, and as you see, we have inserters going on the near side and the belts going on the far side. Yay. Um, so we're going to make blue or green science here and get one, two, three, four, five. We needed one more for this. And then we needed to put the inserters going out. And then also the inserters going in because it's all coming from the same side. we are. Nice. And that way we're going to get the green signs going on the opposite side of that red belt. And here we can start to build our labs setup. And this is all on the bus right now. So that means that we can um, see one, two, three, four, wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of want to do five. Then we can have some in the back. Um, yeah, like that. They can just chain together. That'll be fine. Let's grab, maybe make one more just for symmetry's sake. I'm not very big on symmetry's sake, to be honest, uh, because it's not very useful. But sometimes it's okay, like in this case. It's like, ah, one more is fine. Go. And make these work. Ah, and the new thing in 0 0.17 is labs will feed themselves even if there's no science running. So if we had nothing being researched, the labs would still grab science packs so that they're like ready for the next science, which I think is kind of a nice change uh, because there's nothing else you can do with science packs anyway, so you might as well feed it to the labs. And so I think that's a really nice change that they've made for this. So here we go. We're researching landfill now. We should have enough uh, science to get that done. Let me just redistribute the stuff from my inventory. There we go. And this, boom, boom. Nice. All right, and this is running. Oh, yay. This is great. So now we can actually focus on doing the rest of the defending. And we're still going to have science made. Now we're going to need to get... Uh, gray science pretty quickly. That's military science packs, which is piercing rounds, grenades, and walls. Now, the only thing I'm really worried about is that down here, we have sort of run out of room because I have um, somehow built all of this stuff where the smelters should go. So I'm going to, this is going to be a little bit more spaghetti, I guess, uh, in getting all this set up. But once it's finished, it should be uh, a little bit better when we can make our regular base and then just focus on having having a mega base or the beginning of a mega base uh, at the very least. So, all right, we're moving on. I 
guess we should do this direction, perhaps. We finished this side, finished this side up into the lake. We were working on the bottom area, but we might as well be up here because we're up here anyway. Uh, I kind of wish I had more uh, armor or something. Um, AP rounds would be great, but we don't have them, unfortunately, so may have to just suffer onward with that. But we might go do some turret creep up there. I still didn't get the fish, which is kind of silly, but it's okay. Um, can we do any damage? Yes, we can get projectile damage. Let's get that. I think I'm going to go and get that biter nest up there. Whoa, okay, there's biters coming. I am shooting as fast as possible. Yay, I got him. Boom. Good, good. Make some other stuff like splitters. Don't have a lot of those. All right, let's see where we are. There we are. We have three spawners. No, four spawners and two worms. So let's go ahead and get closer. Oh boy. Oh boy, they're close. Hey guys, how you doing? Now, for turret creeping, you always want to keep your nearer um, turrets within range of the other turrets. It's kind of a critical part of this. Wow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. <gasps> oh, oh, the dodge is real. Oi! Oi, oi, oi. Are we, are we killing those things? I'm going to kill this thing. Myself if I have to. Yeah. And it's dead. And it got off one last shot. That's so naughty. Oh, whoops. I meant this. There we go gonna fix these so that um, they don't disappear <laughs> kind of need the turrets they're kind of useful there's a lot of dead trees around here that I can harvest for power poles nice wow I'm actually looking out for power pole materials <laughs> this is sad <laughs> normally we have so much wood we don't know what to do with it but uh, yeah new times everyone new times it's a thing okay I'm going to have to zoom out so I can see where that body of water is. There it is. Okay. It's not too bad. Go into map mode and just like shift click so that I know. There we are. Kind of know where to go down instead of having to run all the way down there. That's what I love about map mode. It is really awesome. Now that base I should also kill, I think. Um, see how far that is, or how close that is, or how something that is. I'm zoomed all the way out. Wow, okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spawners and three worms. Wow, that's a lot. Let's do three in the initial here. Okay. Oopsie. I really need to get some of the initial ones. Yes. Okay. Okay. We need to get within range of the spawners. Oh, this is the hard part where they're hitting it with the poison. That's not good at all. <gasps> Whoa! Gonna lose some. Gonna lose some. Nope. There we go. That's easier. Spam stuff till it dies. There we go. Nice. I'm shooting at the worm specifically. Or oh, I have no. Oh, I have nothing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Life is not good. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Ammo. Ammo. Ow. The ow is real. No. They have killed quite a number of my turrets. This is not ideal. Oh, no, no, no. I'm taking damage. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Need to grab the ammo. So I'm kind of confused because when I've picked up the ammo, sometimes it goes into my slot. I'm guessing until it's full. And then it might... Um, 
then it might go into the other slot, but it's kind of confusing a little bit. Whew. Wow, that's rough. I'm gonna fix these things up. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent. Whew, that was a little bit hairy. But we didn't die. Not yet. Or not not again. <laughs> Maybe we should just say not again. That that'll be our new catchphrase. Instead of we didn't die yet. No no. It's not again. Alright, take this down. Let's get our wall blueprint. Just for measuring purposes. And place it down. And I think I just want to have just make sure I have the belts in the correct spots. Let's get the blueprint again. There it is. Boom. Yep, there we are. And then we're just going to take it kind of a little at a time here and add what we can. We have lots of turrets, but it's also good to just get the belt going so that we have ammo coming down the line. It's pretty important to this whole thing. Okay. Let's go, go, go. This is a long way, but we are also capturing kind of a large area for the base. So that's a good thing. I have spots to go. Okay, so here we just want to take this and bring that that way. Nice. Okay, grab all these little bits of ammo up. I'm sure people are like, KOS, they're not called bits of ammo. <laughs> yeah, I don't really deal with guns or ammo in real life, so I'm just going to call them bits of ammo, and I'm not sure if they're rounds or magazines or newspapers or bad jokes or whatever. Um, they're, they're yellow and black. All right, carrying the power poles down. This is a, actually kind of a nice thing where I can just like, ah, oh, yes, we'll put a turret by each power pole and that's going to be our spacing. And then we'll have that by the... Did that actually put it in the right place? No, couldn't have. Oh, it did. Holy fuzzy cats. It now works. Whoa. Wow. Scary times, man. Oh, it works. Oh my god, it never used to work, and now it works. Oh, life is better. You can tell. Yeah, you can definitely tell life is better. So, good, good. It's better when life is better. I've noticed this part. Now then, let's get our turrets placed. I think we'll have a few here needed. Oh, that's not ideal. Okay, let's then get these guys overrun. Do we need more inserters? Yes, we do. Let's see if I can make some. Oh, only 10. That's not ideal. Let's take these guys this way. Good, good. Okay, nice. So we just need to wait until the ammo actually arrives and things should be okay at that point. Okay, let's get some more stuff. Stronger explosives. Okay, we don't have grenades, so we'll leave that for now. But here we get bullet shooting speed and shotgun shooting speed. Let's just go ahead and get the bullet shooting speed up. Uh, because why not? I mean, it's the only thing that we can get right now. We don't have gray science yet, so it's going to have to be sufficing for now. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing. Be sufficing? No, probably not. I'm thinking it will have to suffice for now. How many do I have? Two left on the inserter thing, so I'll just put these two down and then I will just take these guys, just kind of like walk with them so we can pick up some more materials to make inserters. <laughs> yes. 
I was just thinking about uh, what was said after I finished um, <clears throat> one of the last episodes that I did. There was much wailing heard in the city of Arundel. <clears throat> Caledon mentioned this. I might have mentioned this. Uh, but yes, there was much wailing when I was um, quite unhappy with the situation. But now things are fixed and we are taking back our heritage. I mean, I don't know if you can have heritage in Factorio, but we're, we're production challenge specialists. Yes, that's it. That's it. That sounds right. Yes. <laughs> I forgot the... Oh gosh, I can't hear what he's saying. <laughs> can you write that in text, please? The national theme. Oh yes, we're all Vikings here. We all wear hats with horns on our heads. It's a thing. <laughs> oh god. And I get a text message. Oh, the gnashing of teeth. Yes. <laughs> there was much gnashing of teeth. <laughs> yes. This is this is a thing. Um because because um yes, gnash gnashing or gnashing of uh, of teeth is is uh is a thing that happens um and yeah hopefully we'll we'll get that fixed very very shortly whoa 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 biters hello no 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 oh wow oh wow um yeah all right so we're almost at the end of the episode now because we yeah but we have made so much progress. I'm very happy with the way things have gone. It looks like we might need to fortify some of these defenses, like in areas like this, for example, where we have very strong biter attacks and um, we might just want to double up on the walls. But otherwise, things are going really well. You know, I've compl Oh, I came down for inserters. That's what it was. So I think this might actually be a good time to stop the episode. I'll probably try to start the next one up here so we don't have to waste time walking within the episode. Um, and this is another reason why I like Run Speed Toggle, the other mod that makes my life so nice. But we're we're vanillaing this time, fully vanilla, and we will suffer through vanilla and it'll be fine. Um, but we have we have other tools. We have things like walkways, which are also quite nice. Uh, things that I often forget about when I do a modded series. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.